Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today's topic of speech is God and man. This is our 11th speech. Allahu samad and insanul kabad is said in the Quran. Allahu samad means God depends on no needs. He does not drink, eat or sleep. He needs nothing from the materialistic requirements. However, human being is al-kabad, which means that he needs a lot. And the more he needs, the more in trouble he is. The verse of ayat is, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي kabad." In other words, man is needy, so that God's attribute of granting things may naturalize. Such being the case, the more man is involved in greed, the more he is lost in physical attachments and worries. But those who are attached to God wholeheartedly and surrender to his will do not care for worldly worries. Worldly worries. Thank you. And then we come to how to gain God's kind attention. This is the topic. From... Rumi's discourses. I have taken one paragraph. Someone said, I have forgotten something in the room. Upon this room, he says, there is one thing in this world that must never be forgotten. If you were to forget all else, but did not forget that, then you would have lost nothing. But if you performed and remembered everything else, but forgot that one thing, then you wouldn't have done anything, says Rumi, in his uh, discourses. It is just as if a king sent you to the country to carry out some specific task. If you go and accomplish a hundred other tasks, but not that specific one, you have done nothing. Then it is an thought then it is as though you perform nothing at all so everyone comes into this world for a particular task and that is their purpose becomes their purpose if they do not perform it then they will have done nothing at all all things are assigned to a task the heavens sent rain and light for the herbs of the field to grow and spring out. The earth receives the seeds and bears fruit. It accepts and reveals a hundred thousand marvels, too numerous to count. The mountains give birth to mines and gold and silver. All these things, the heavens, the earth and the mountains, do, yet they do not perform that one thing, that particular task is performed by man. What is that? It is, as is said in the Quran, we offered the trust to the heavens, the earth and the mountains. They refused to carry it and were afraid of it. But humans carried it out. Surely they are foolish and sinful. Why a man should be sinful and foolish, explains Rumi. Because God is closer to our jugular vein and we do not realize him, we ignore him, then this is really stupidity. So people are given a task, everyone, and when they perform it, all their sinfulness and foolishness is dissolved. This, these sentences were from discourses, as we said. We must not forget that we have his trust within us. If we forget it, the duty will be incomplete. 
The trust is actually the breath of God, which was blown to man at the time of creation. This is how God is closer to us than our jugular vein and Sufis say, there is someone within us other than yourself. If God is so close, then why to neglect him? And Rumi says elsewhere in the Masnavi, Mu minu tarsa jehudu gabru mu jumlara rusui a sultan ulu. True believers and Christian, Jew, infidel, and Magian all have their faces turned toward that great Sultan, God. Pas haqiqat haqbabat ma'bud kul ki as pa'i zaukas te seheran e subul. So the reality is that all worship the same God, but they differ due to their own understanding and taste and ego. Then they choose different ways. Lake Bazi Rusui Dam Kardaan, Dum Kardaan, Gerche Sar Aslast, Sar Gum Kardaan. However, some look at the tail while only others look at the face. And this is a very nice understanding or example of why Rumi is using face. I will explain now. As a matter of fact, every being is worshipping God, but they fail to conceive God's real face, which means in the Quran, God says that everything would come to an end except his face. Now read that from the Masnavi. When a lover of God surrenders to him, he has no intellect left because everything will come to a non-existent except face of God. And this is why Rumi says that some people believe in God, but they look at the tail, no face. While the believers, good believers, real believers, look at the face of God, they're searching for his face, the beautiful face. And Rumi elsewhere makes this wonderful example, or brings example for him. Since only God's face is to exist, I may become a mole on his face so that I live forever and be with him. This is the topmost desire for love of God, to be eternal. You have to become a part of God. We can, because we were part of God before creation, and now we should go back to him in that state. One who is lost in the charms of the physical world is squint-eyed. A master said to his squint-eyed, go and bring the bottle inside the house for painting. Well, the, the apprentice went in and he said, Sir, which one should I bring? The bottle on the right or the bottle on the left? He said, Boy, there are not two bottles there. There's only one bottle. He said, No, I see two bottles. Okay, easy. Go and break the bloody bottle. So he did that. He broke the bottle then there was no other bottle left. So the boy understood that it is something, some problem with me, not with the bottles. The whole universe is unity of God. God is one. And if you are squint, then you will see double God, three God, four gods. Okay. The problem is not the physical blindness, but the esoteric one. Kuriye kuron za rahmat dur niist, kuriye hirsast ke amazur niist. The physical blindness is not devoid of divine mercy, it is the blindness due to the greed that matters. Counts, in other words. 
ماهیا آخر نگر من اگر به شست به شست بد گلو گلوی گلوی چشم آخر بینت بست او فیش لوک این فرانت دونت لوک ات ده هوک یو آر گلاتن دیت هز تاید یور آیز اپ have blinded your eyes because of greed. Edil as kino wa karahat paak sho wa angaha alhamd khan chalak sho. O heart, set yourself free from abomination and jealousy. Then say alhamdulillah, thanks to God and be alert again. God is above comprehension and imaginations, correct? فائل مطلق یقین به صورت است صورت اندر دسته و چون آلت است Surely the absolute agent is formless which is God Form is like a tool in his hand From time to time the formless one shows his face in forms from, non, from the non-existent world He just shows his face a little bit In such a matter that every shape may avail of his manifestation, perfection and power. Such being the case, God becomes incomprehensive and behind the, behind the reach of imaginations. Therefore, look for him by undoing your ego first and use humbleness. Don't be proud of your being. Your being. your personality. Leave it beside. Hypocrite can hide their real faces to some extent. A story of an old woman is brought in, Masnavi, for this, to explain this. An old lady who was living her last days of life <laughs> had wrinkled face. It was very ugly looking. She took illuminated pages from the Holy Quran and tried to paste them on her face to hide her dirty face in order to join other beauties but the pages fell down they didn't stick there she tried her best but the pages fell again and again she cursed the devil how long you the hypocrite will Keep on copying and stealing the sayings of the men of God. Sell them and praise yourself. Rumi is saying that there are some religious people, showy. They make great show by using the Holy Quran, Hadith or Bible or others. To that they are great people. But finally they are discovered. That's what Rumi says. So you have to be careful. not to believe in everyone who says something from the Holy Quran. Look at his heart. That's the important thing. Rumi says human being has some confidential powers like atoms. It's very interesting to notice that 850 years ago, Rumi knew atomic power very clearly And in this expression, we find interesting information. The sun is hidden in one atom, the power, which can open its mouth all of a sudden and reveal itself, becomes open, which is atom. The universe and the earth changes into parts. when this sun shows up his face. Zarra zarra o gerda da flako zameen Yishe an khurshi da chun jest az zabeen This really moved my heart very much. That how could Rumi know this? Really. Okay. The state of an infidel. An infidel's heart is filled with fear and worries because he knows little about the world, other world and the world hereafter, this world and the world hereafter. 
He is on the road but doesn't know where he's going. He takes steps with hesitation like a blind man. Never travel with such a camel hearted because they can run away due to fear. They can leave you alone on the way. The camel hearted people, camel hearted people. Camel hearted means unfaithful person and camels are some, in some cases unfaithful. You cannot trust them. So some people are like camel, don't trust them. A world loving man looks at things with greed, sorry, a world loving, true, looks at things with greed and wanting at all the time. Mu bamu binad the sarfe harse uns, raksa be maksu the daurat hamchu khiras, raksa anja kun ke khudra vishikne, pambara az rish shahwat barkani. A greedy man inspects things here by here and he begins to dance for nothing like a bear upon success. They start with happy, well, we found it, like the sci some scientists. You better dance when you break your own ego, finish it, and have taken out cotton from the lusty wound. This is all example, I mean, metaphorical expressions. You have to know what he's saying behind it. The philosophers or scientists carry on researches without noticing the traces of the unseen power of God behind it. To do that, they have to put their selfhood aside. God loving people are not greedy. They cannot be greedy. Guft Shahi, Sheikh Rao Andar Sukhan, Chizi Az Bakshish Zaman, Dar Khost Kun. Guft, eh, Shah, Sharam, Nao Yatra, Kichunin Goi Mara, Zai Bar Tara. A king said to a Sheikh during conversation, Ask for some need so that I may be bestow upon you something. The Sheikh said, aren't you ashamed of this saying? Say something better. Man du bandadaram. Now he's coming to the point. Man du bandadaram wa isha haqeer wa on bartar haqiban wa amir on bartu. Guft shah an du chiyant az zillat ast. Guft an ya khashm un digar shahwat ast. I have humbled two slaves, but they Rule you, not me. Tell me who they are, they belittle me. The Sheikh said, one is anger and the other is lust. Man of God is clean from clay and dirt. The heart that is higher than the sky belongs to a prophet or a dervish or a lover of God. It is clean from dust and clay and has gone higher and higher and reached a higher stage. <clears throat> Wine of God, love of God, makes you inside drunk, not outside. Hey! Kamali dust hour to Tawham as Kamali digera nofti bagam. Hark, you to gain some extraordinary things so that you may not fall in unhappiness because of others' perfection. As Khudami Khwa Dafi'in Hasat, now he's coming to the point. Ta Khudayat Torah Warahanat as Jasat. From God ask for elimination of this jealousy so that God may free you from this body. It is strong feelings, wanting, egoism and all that. Mertura meshguli bakshat darun ke parad az ansuye berun. And God may keep you busy with the esoteric activities 
not exoteric, esoteric. So that you may not fly out from there, that spot. Jureimi ra as khuda ami dehat, jureimi ra khuda ami dehat, ke badu master du ala mirhat. God gives power to one draught of wine, that all the drunk set themselves free from the two worlds. This is talking, he's talking about lovers of God, Darveshes, Sadhu and all. In Jalalat, Dar Dalalat, Saudikast, Jumla Idrakat, Pas Saudikast. Now let me read the final verses where he summarizes the whole thing. All these praises that have been put forward for proof are true to God. Yet all perceptions fall behind, cannot reach him. All perceptions are riding on lame asses, while God is riding on wind and flies off like arrows. You cannot reach him. If he flies, none can reach that king, even if he even if people try to reach him, he flies further on. Thank you very much. <laughs>